the current thing I'm really trying to get better at in my self-improvement journey is not resenting people and not talking shit about people. Uh, what really opened my eyes to this was recently I heard through other people that friends of mine, old friends of mine were talking a lot of shit about me. Like people that say nice things to my face but then behind my back like talk a lot of shit. That's a story for a whole other time. But what I noticed that I resent a lot and I talk a lot of shit about um, is the typical guys who are around my age, you know, early to late 20s, you can just say 20s, guys in their 20s that have some sort of online business thing that is very hard to explain. They use a ton of jargon, a lot of big words. They all live in very nice, um, what's it called? Very nice, like, apartments and shit. They pay, like, like 5000 10000 Some of them pay, like, fucking $20,000 a month to live in these apartments. They all drive super cool, nice, fast cars. Um, and I, I, don't, I can't even describe what their businesses are exactly, and I'm sure they're doing a lot of good for the world, it's a lot of good stuff, and honestly, most of these guys used to be like my very close friends, and I, to this day, I still really like them, I think they're cool, but something about it, just like, I resent it, especially the ones who I don't know, like the ones I scroll on fucking Instagram reels, and I see some kid around my age, you know, who's, they're all talking like they fucking studied the Iman Gatsi Bible of how to speak eloquently. Um, sorry, I don't even know how to fucking do it, man. But like they, when they talk, they fucking stare into your soul to maintain eye contact, presence. Mm. Mm. You know, and it just feels like, like they're very successful people, great guys. I'm sure, maybe, but it just feels like they're all carbon copies of each other. You know, it feels like they're all. Like all these guys in line that like preach this type of shit. They're all, yeah, they're all fucking copy and paste of each other. They're all doing like the same thing, but it's a little bit different. You know what I mean? Um, I think what I resent a lot about it, one is for sure jealousy, because I think what interested me into doing the whole online stuff, like a big part of the interest, of course, was, you know, I saw these guys doing YouTube and stuff, making a ton of money, being able to do their passion, and like, to be honest, I like, I, I try to preach you guys not, sorry, the fucking ambulance is so distracting, man. Like, come on, buddy, just speed it up here. <laughs> Go save the guy, come on. Um, I try to preach to you guys to get your joy and your happiness and your contentment not from materialistic things, but truthfully, still to this day, I, I fantasize about, you know, like, it's not the biggest thing in my mind. See, like, you see how, like, defensive I'm getting about it? Like, I can't even just say straight up that I fucking fantasize about wanting a huge mansion and all these cars and these Ferraris and stuff. And another thing that makes me resent them is I, I know some people that are like that. I know roughly how much money they make and I know how much of their investments into these material items is a big chunk of their money like for example they make maybe they make $50,000 a month and they're buying like $400,000 cars so like the, the math don't math you know and what, what sucks is nowadays nowadays I sound like a back in my day guy but nowadays really the what drives um business to your business if you're in that space your selling point is looking sick like that you know looking like you do you are the top g with the fancy car and stuff but here's okay here's a phenomenon that me and my boys are always talking about it's i noticed that i've always been attached fascinated by people who i can tell are authentic and one thing that I think is really cool about humans is we can tell through even this camera when somebody's bullshitting you. 
you can feel it. Like, for example, a weird example, but I, when I used to make like the, the comedic skits and stuff, I feel like most people, doesn't it doesn't feel like bullshit to them because they can tell I really enjoyed it and it was fun. So that's not what I'm talking about. But when I was not enjoying them as much and still making them because I wanted the views and I wanted the success and I wanted all these things, um, people, I'd notice they would get less view, like they would get less comments and what blah, blah, blah. And I could tell, there was just this energy about it that I think people could tell that it was forced, right? That it wasn't my most authentic self. And I think we have this ability to tell these things about people through the camera. For example, there has to be a reason why when you scroll past some of those e-com dudes who like are saying the same shit about, I can hack, if you, if you're trying to be an online coach, I can get you this. DM me fucking ball sack in your mouth and I'll send you my free PDF, which is also a click funnel to getting on a coaching call with me and I sell you. And they all sell this, like, they all sell themselves the same way. You know, it's like there's a manual for people like that. Okay, why do I resent this? Let me think. One, because I used to, like, I think we as humans resent what we resent about ourselves and we especially resent the version of ourselves that, how the fuck do you say that? Sorry, English, second language. <laughs> the, um, a very early, previous, a very, what's the word? Like, what the fuck's the word, boys? What the fuck is the word? A pretty recent version of yourself that you don't like. So I think it's because like maybe over the summer or even earlier than that. Yeah, a little bit earlier than this summer, I was trying to be like these guys. Like I was doing all this biohacking and, you know, I was learning how to talk more eloquently and I would take deep breaths, which is, I think is a good thing, but I would take deep breaths and like, even, dude, even when I was talking to like my best friends, when I was talking to my fucking girlfriend, bro, I would, mm, oh, mm -hmm. and I would try to say like these big words and shit to sound, well, okay, because she knows me so well and she's a real motherfucker, she slaps me in the face and goes, not, not physically, but she, she slaps me and goes, metaphorically, there's no abuse here, she'd be like, David, stop being a fucking retard, man, like, just like, be yourself, you know, I think that's why I love her so much, she always, pushes me to be myself anyways um so i think i was trying to be like that and it for me like it it kind of i don't want to say it hurt me but like it it made me lose my most my more authentic self and made me feel like that more authentic version of like the my most authentic self was not as cool because i would speak like this and talk like this and people would think i'm cool and respect me in that circle but the more detached from it and more like we, we've been talking so much about like self-worth and shit recently boys watch any of the other fucking rants that i've been talking about if you want to hear that the more detached from that bullshit i realized like one i, I realized a few things well, one of them is that everybody has this little boy or little girl inside of you whoa hey you didn't say little they them come on demon hey hey that's uh it's cancelable everybody has this little boy or little girl inside of them that is the brain's subconscious representation of things that we don't like about our like our trauma from a younger age and a lot of us do things in our life that maybe are not the most authentic to ourselves things that we see online other people do things that are perceived by society as cool and stuff like that to cover up that little boy or little girl inside of us and say and prove to ourselves in some way that you know, we can be grown-ups we can be big strong men and stuff and that in my life and a lot of your lives too has done great maybe it's made you very successful in one way or another it's made certainly it's helped me with success a lot has helped me toughen up and grow up but i think i resent other people that are doing those things like you know, the social media marketing guys and stuff like that because, well, it depends if they're authentic. I, I, I got one buddy who, I'm not gonna name him, he's dope. But I genuinely think like, 
his most authentic self is doing that. Shout out to him. I think if he ever sees this, he knows who he is. But he is he is authentic as fuck with it. Like he that's just him. But I, I just see some other people that are like I can tell that they don't talk like that, man. They're all pretending to be somebody else. And we do that to like save our to save our ego and stuff. And it's a very tall order, it's a very tough thing to do. But like to be vulnerable and tell yourself that you don't you don't have to act a certain way for other people. Like I, I was talking to a guy today great guy by the way but he was getting me a um a housekeeper for my house and he does a service that kind of like that his service is great whole other story but i noticed that he talks like a lot of those people do like and i know him i know his business partner and he's like his business partner and i'm sure he is he, like they were very like they were very like, grounded people like they were my friends growing up um and I'm like, why are you paying like fucking fifteen thousand dollars for rent, buddy? And like in this nice apartment. And he's like, oh, to be honest, he's like, he's like, he's like, this is what you gotta do. You gotta look the part for people to buy into your service. I'm like, damn, it's fucking crazy, man. So I do, I do agree with that and stuff. But I just wish for every guy out there to be able to be living their most like fulfilling, authentic life and not have to do things to appeal to others, you know? I think I wish that for other people because I truly, I just wish that for myself. Like, I wish I learned this lesson earlier and learned to try to do this more earlier because, like, I don't know. I think I think that's where a lot of my bad mental health from before stemmed from. It was not being secure with myself as a person, you know? And I'm sure some people, that's who they are authentically. Some people are that the top G type of dude authentically but one thing I learned is like I can't um, not only is it no point spending time resenting people like that and stuff but two if you just resent and you don't and you aren't open minded enough to maybe see where they're coming from or like why they actually act like that you're never gonna grow you're I'm like I, I can't be preaching fucking giga chad become the giga chad Become the best version of yourself become become the man who looks capable and is capable and is loving and kind and all that like i can't preach that shit if i'm not doing it myself you know so that's a promise that i'm trying to make to myself is to stop like to like try not to resent people like if i have that negative thought and stuff like don't don't resent it i don't know I'm not like i'm just admitting shit on camera now like another thing i regret is like i know how much money our company made these past months and it's ridiculous and i think that just reaffirmed to me that like okay over these past months i've been more my authentic self than i've ever been before and monetarily materialistically things are doing extremely well so i just naturally correlate that being yourself being authentic being good moral having your values is going to equate to awesome dope shit yeah, and also just makes me happier. So, you know what? End of the day, everyone lives in their own reality. What I say is what I believe, type blah, blah, blah. You know, which is great. Um, so, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. It really is the, the essence of the red pill of uh, stay in your lane, bro. Like, focus on yourself, homie. And truthfully, it's just something that I'm, I'm bad at and I'm, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn more to just focus on myself, homie. Because I want to just focus on myself, homie. Yeah, man. Where else can we go with this? What else can we touch on? Uh, I guess the message to some people is, like, if there's something that you want to do in life that's, like, unconventional. Because, oh, you know what it is? It's, like, dude, I think hanging out with people like that made me, like, and they're great and stuff. like. But, like, it made me, like, lose the passion of, like, being an artist, being a YouTuber, like us YouTubers, we're just insecure, like, vulnerable people that want to express their stuff through videos, right? Like, and I think just, like, I realized that for me, being, like, a, what is expected of, like, a modern-day businessman is not what I want, man. I don't like how guys, even in my industry, like, the fitness industry, or, like, sell things that I know that they don't want. Like, fucking supplements, man. Like, they're fucking selling shit, like, that, let's be honest, they either don't even take it or, like, 
they pretend like this one's the best and stuff just for the money like I don't know if there's anybody dope in my industry in the fitness industry and the reason that he is the number one right now it is Sam Sulik you guys I don't know if you know him but oh uh, yeah man I, I look up to that guy not for the lifting at all like just for like I think that's a great role model man I think that's an amazing role model in life and Anytime I ever, sorry, I need to check the map. Oh, don't do it. Come on. Don't drive in text. Um, is it going to get me canceled? Yeah, too bad. I'm, I'll, I'll mellow that out. I'll balance it out with an Asian accent next time. Anytime I think that maybe I do have to be selly or not be my authentic self or I do have to talk very poised and stuff for people like me and play this game that everyone seems like they're playing I think back to creators like Sam Sulik and the YouTubers I used to watch growing up like being authentic and just being themselves like one of my favorites that I don't know if you know them was Barbell Brigade Bart Kwan JK JK Films a couple of Asian comedians that also lift and shit it was great man like we're you know <sighs> yeah I'm just finding a lot of peace right now in my life, detaching from living um, inauthentically to gain, to gain, what's the word, validation from other people. And I think maybe I am wrong and I'm just being a, I'm just being a dick thinking that um, these people that I look, scroll on the internet and see and resent are not being authentic. But. Yeah, I'm fucking tired of seeing the fucking people. Oh my god, I cut in the video. No, my SD card just got full and I had to delete my gay porn. <laughs> okay, I want to end this off by saying you don't got to conform, homie. You don't got to conform to what people think is cool to get you the validation. I hope you can keep watching the dudes on the internet. Um, that are being successful, being authentic, you know, and I think there is a big shift right now, not only the internet, but the world, that people are starting to see through more bullshit, you know, and I will say you can trick people for a long time, some people you can trick forever, but the only person you cannot trick, who you shouldn't trick, because that shit hurts, trust me, is yourself, yeah, do things that you are proud of do things that make you proud of yourself ask yourself that all the time is are you being the most authentic version of yourself hey and I'm not saying don't strive to be the most successful motherfucker in the room bro just make sure the way you get there and how you're doing it is something you can truly be proud of <sighs> if you want more better advice from Demos illegal therapy welcome back by the way you can click the $6,000 course link in my description. <laughs>